So we'll do this because I know people that watch some of these videos just want the answer. So we'll do this for just the answer folks. And then the folks that like to see the diagnostic part, you can watch the whole video. Um, the easiest way to clean the volume control on this, pull the volume control knob off. And it really helps to have the head unit out of here, at least facing up. I would just unplug it and take it out. Get your control cleaner, spray some Neutrol, and it's later in the video if you're interested in what that is, but N-U-T-R-O-L, or Deoxit, D-E-O-X-I-T, you can use those two products. You want to spray it in here, and you want to work the volume control back and forth, and you want to push it in and out. Okay, it's plugged in right now, so I won't do it, but get it into this shaft in here, and just work it back and forth. Work it, you know, work it up and down, back and forth, all kind of at the same time. And it will weep its way down in there, and it will make it so the volume control doesn't glitch. And uh, you'll see in the next part of this video uh, what the volume control is doing and how when you go to turn it up, sometimes it jumps down and up. And uh, so, anyways, uh, but that's just the, the kind of Cliff Notes version of this video. Just get some control cleaner in there. You don't need to disassemble the whole thing, but... Um, if you want to see how we got to that conclusion, uh, watch the rest of this video. If you own or create a sex toy company, would you make a sex toy shaped like Howard's nose? Oh, definitely. Because of the whole... What would you call it? No. <laughs> Can you guys go out and ask women if they'd rather have sex with Howard? I'm sure I could win that. Or, or ask them, if Howard Stern, or gushing blood from your ass. Which one would you choose? Gushing blood from my ass. That's what I would choose. Hmm. So, we're going to dig into this and see what's going on. Um, this has been going on for a while. And I, it's the car sat more than usual. Uh, I don't know if they're using an encoder in here or something magnetic. Uh, I suspect it's a contact though, because as I rotate the volume dial, sometimes it jumps backwards. See, so you go to turn it down or up one notch, and all of a sudden it jumps way down or it jumps way up. So I pull the console out of here. I've had this out of here before. This isn't the original radio. The original radio was a lower model and the satellite receiver quit working in it, and I got this out of a junkyard car and upgraded to the six-disc changer. Ooh, and uh, it is nice. I like the touchscreen and everything, but um, something's, gone, something's gone a little bit wonky here with the volume control, and I've spun it around and stuff. It probably just needs some contact cleaner, but we have to pull it out of here, which is a little bit of a process, and take a look. I can almost guarantee there's probably about 20,000 videos on removing a radio, so I'm not going to show you guys. But just very carefully pop this off of here if, if you feel like you need details on it, you know, um, you can find another video. But just pop that off, and then there's four torque screws, so we're going to get that, uh, get those four torque screws out of there. And then this thing just quite simply slides out. All right, uh, I'm trying to avoid unplugging it. I, I have the code for this. It's coded for this car, but... If I unplug it, I think I have to punch the code back, and I don't remember. So it's probably safe to unplug it, but I'm not going to if I don't have to. One of the things I noticed, too, is one of the clips stayed on the radio. It broke off of the plastic here. Um, so I just stuck it back on here, and I got a screwdriver hot, and I just melted the ends back over. You can see that's kind of how these are. Um, so that way I just put the clip back on there. Um, I don't think I can sneak in here from the back. This is where the control is at, so I think I'm going to take these four torques out. Um, these were T20s right here. These are probably like T10s, T8s or something. Uh, so there's, uh, it looks like six of those. So take the six off. That should take the plastic off the front. So here's where we're at. I pulled the six screws out and I realized there's a screw in top here. I pulled the top cover off. It's just one screw. Pretty easy to get out. Uh, I don't know if this changer deck lowers or not. I can try and plug it in and do that. Obviously, I took it out of the car. I just wasn't going to be able to work on it there. Um, that one screw holds the, the rest of this faceplate on. Um, so I haven't decided whether I'm going to try and get this screw out and take the faceplate off so I can get to the uh, back of this pot or whatever it is. Or if I'm just going to try and squirt it. I've got it kind of loose here. 
you know, so you can, I can kind of get to it, but I can really only get to the back side of it. And I was looking at this, and if you take the knob off of it, you can see the contacts down in there. It's actually clear on the front, um, but you just just no way to squirt anything in right here. I mean, I might be able to might be able to spray it right here and get it down in there. Maybe that's the way to do it. And if that's the case, you could do this without even removing it from the car. Um, maybe I'll try that as an experiment. We'll see if maybe if I can get some down past the shaft here, that'll work. All right, let's try this. Let's see if we can get it down in here. And maybe I'll get my magnifying glass and see. This is just neutral. It's a control cleaner. There's different control cleaners on the market. Deoxit. I'll try and spray it this way so it doesn't go all over the screen. Doing this one-handed. And that's not always good. I just want to give it a little bit. All right. Let's see if it's going down in there. I don't know that it is. You know what it is? This shaft, that's not the whole shaft right there. The shaft is just this little tiny piece right here. So this probably isn't going to work very well, but we'll try it. There's just really no good way to get into this thing. Let's douse the thing, huh? I just keep working it. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's got an on-off switch, too. Maybe you can work it up and down. Maybe some of it will get in there. If not, we're going to have to do some serious surgery. All right, so I just stuck it back in there for now. Let's see if it's any, see if it's any better. I wonder why the CD changer is doing that. Huh. All right. Well, it didn't ask for the code or anything, so that's good. All right, let's see. The volume control feels a little bit more stiff now. I, that's uh, That shouldn't be, but... Let's see, because the one it would do it the most is just individual steps. And it looks to me, looks to me like it's working pretty good now. All right, I can get my Howard Stern on now without uh, the volume jumping all over the place. And then you hit them with something that's kind of tried and true, and then they're All right, so what did we learn here? That you probably don't really need to take this thing out of here. Um, although I would suggest that you do because you can set it up on its end and the control cleaner can drop down in. So it's so easy to get out, why not? So take it out, pull the control off the front here and spray down in the shaft and just work it a whole bunch and get that control cleaner down there. And it seems to have fixed it. I'm not seeing it jump at all. Yeah, and it's, you know, you get... Uh, I know you through Saturday Night Live, you know, so... It, 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 it. Yeah, there's not a single... And it was just when you do these little steps, you, you really that's when it would do it. I can't stand that I don't stand. So it looks like it's good. Looks like it's good. I wonder if the CD changer... I uh, wonder if it still works. Make sure I didn't screw something up there. Yeah, it still works. So that's good. Oh, Bob Seeger, huh? All right. <clears throat> Looks like we're in good shape. So that's an easy fix for you. If you've got a volume control that's jumping around in your Volkswagen, uh, you can get some control cleaner and spray it in there without even having to take it apart. It looks like I was able to work it in there. So there you go. That's a quick and easy one for you.